yeah. It's Funky Function Friday again. And thanks for everybody who's letting me know that this has made a difference for you. And really thank you to Samuel Adnew who sent me an email letting me know how you cleansed the full data set from last week. I just demonstrated a data extraction, but Samuel went further. And I like knowing that. I like seeing it. I like that he got in touch. And you are welcome to be in touch. All right. So I, I hope that you are feeling good today. Because I, well, I feel hot. It's 1130 at night. Boy, it's hot out here. Now, today we're going back into Power Query because we want to look at something that's weird about it. A good thing about Power Query is that it forces you to think about your entire data set, entire rows, entire columns, everything. It's not so good if you have to deal with a single cell. In this example, we have a list of artists and songs and they're staggered. Prince did not do La Freak. Prince did International Lover. The Brothers Johnson did Get the Funk Out of My Face. The Bee Gees did not do Young Hearts Run Free. They did Night Fever. That was a good one, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. All right. In Native Excel, we could highlight this, delete the cell, move the whole darn column up, and be done. But if this was an intermediate step that you had to deal with because you're working on a Power Query solution, You'd have to decide whether you want to come out of Power Query, deal with it in native Excel and go back in. You got to figure this out. I'm going to show you a way of dealing with it in Power Query. All right. So the data is already in a table. Now let's get on with it. Go to data from table. Oh yeah. So now we got to think about this. We got Prince International Lover, two different rows. So we want to take advantage of the modulo function, but we got to do an index column in order to do the modulo. All right. Add a column, add an index column. Right. Now we have access to the standard icon and we can add a modulo. And how many rows? Two. Two. Oh, yeah. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Good. And we're going to take advantage of that. Let's get rid of this index column. We don't need it anymore. Mm. Now, what I want to do, because I now want to get myself set up to use the uh, fill up or fill down. Oh, okay. Conditional column. Let's call this artist one. If modulo equals zero, then bring me back a column artist and null. Now you can see if we wanted to do a fill up, Chic would be next to Lafreak and that would be the right place. All right, but we gotta do this again. And Power Query is weird. So I'm gonna go up to remove columns and I'm gonna insert a conditional column, okay? Insert step, yeah. All right, I wanna call this Artist2. modulo equals one then bring me back the column called artist otherwise null all right now go down here and we've got our two columns highlight them both using the control key right click Fill up. Now, what do we got? 
International Lover is a zero, and we need Prince. Le Freak is a one, we need Chic. Chiché La Femme is a zero, and we need Dr. Buzzard's original Savannah Band. Do so you see the pattern here? All right, if it's a zero, we need artist two. If it's a one, we need artist one. All right, conditional column. Oh yeah. Final artist. If modulo equals zero, what did we say? If it's zero, we need artist two. Mm. Artist two. Otherwise, bring us back the column called artist one. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's move this over. Okay, we have our final artist. Let's move it over again. All right, international lover, Prince. I can't go for that. Hall and Oates. Yes, everything is lined up in these two columns. Let's highlight these two using the control button, right click, remove other columns. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's move this to the other side. We got what we want. Let's scroll down. We got nulls on the bottom. Let's filter those out. Get them out of there. Oh yeah. And now we can close and load. Now we've got exactly what we want. Look at that, Bee Gees, stand alive. Yeah. We funkin'. The data is right. And thanks again. And please subscribe to the channel and be in touch. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know how this is working out for you. I really want this to make a difference for you and for you to have fun. All right. Stay funky, y'all.